Okay, I haven't done one of these in a while, but this is for Angie. Um, and Angie, this is probably my first um, Microsoft Access tutorial on YouTube. I do have quite a few on uh, CD that are 2003, and since that's what you're still using, um, I've been looking for that, but it may have been thrown out. But I'll do some more of these based on your questions. But the first thing I want to show you is that uh, with your uh, database where you wanted to create um, a form basically of each patient and then see their procedure that they have had done in the past, um, this is what I did based on what you told me as a sample. I created three tables, one called Table Patient Procedures and this would have a patient listed uh, let me widen this column uh, a procedure lookup so that you can look up the different procedures that are available the data service uh, procedure doctor and I was just making up some fields here and um, so the other table I did was table patients now this would list every single patient uh, that the facility has regardless of whether or not they've had a procedure so this is just patients and then a table called procedure list uh, and these are all made up acronyms for fake procedures that I thought I would use just as samples so ignore what they are um, and there and you notice here that there's only the procedure name column uh, for the data the ID is automatic and it doesn't matter about the ID here uh, for table patients the ID might be a social security number but I let it stay at auto um, and then patient uh, procedures again I've got an auto ID set up here uh, but there is a field for the patient ID because what it's going to do is link back to your table patients in order for the form to work now if I'm going too fast ask some questions in the comments and I'll come back and address them uh, maybe in a video response or anything that I do tables um, what you want to do here is for your patient uh, table um, everything is filled in according to how many patients you have because you've already put those people in um, then your excuse me your uh, patient procedures is uh, something you do need to add um, the procedure lookup field to um, and make a connection with the patient ID um, you want to go into des design view and set um, patient ID to a lookup wizard and you want the lookup column to look up the values in a table or query so that part is correct click next um, and then table patients is where it's coming from and the next and um, ID field uh, again could be social so you the check and next and that's the values that's included in your lookup column um, also last name and first name if you want that and then next um, and I just leave it um, as ascending and then next and there it would be and the key column is always hidden and then next and uh, the label for this lookup column I just leave as patient ID and then finish and it says the table must be saved and yes alright uh, so procedure lookup same thing change that to lookup wizard um, it's in a table or query already um, procedure list is where we have all the procedures listed so then uh, next and uh, you don't really need anything but name here and then next and again leave as the default and next and this is showing you what it looks like and then next and again I'll just leave the default names and finish and save alright data service you should always change the data types uh, to what they truly are so always go back and for fields do a date format um, so anyway I want to save that before I change views again so here we go back to datasheet view and uh, patient 
um, you know, if I only have one patient in the list, I can click that. Procedure lookup. Let's say I'm going to have this procedure. Data services any date you want. I'll make up the date here and procedure doctor. If you had a doctor's list, you could do a lookup column here as well. So anyway, I'm going to enter a new uh, patient uh, just for another sample here. Oops. Uh, oh, it's not already in the list. So this is just procedures. So I have to enter a new patient. Uh, always forget to do this in the correct table, which is patients. And I already have that one open, so click here. So this is where I get to enter that. And so Smith, uh, Bill, and make up some numbers here. Can't spell. Um, let's see here. We'll make up a name. Can you tell that I like Texas? And I'm making up zip codes. I have no idea what these zip codes are. And just place holders here. You can set input mask if you're not sure what those are. Uh, send me an email so that it takes the numbers and you don't have to type the dashes. All right, so I've made up an, another patient there, and that's fine. Uh, go back to patient procedure, and now I can pick from, or I should be able to pick from two names. So let me save this. No, it's not letting me have it. I'll close that. Go back to patient procedures, and I should be able to list a new. There we go. Just being finicky. And then a date, pick another date. And again, I'm not going to put anything in here. All right, so I've done this. I'm going to save it. You don't have to save these to close them. It'll prompt you to do that if you haven't saved them. Okay, I'm going to close that. All right, so we're here. what we have now is a uh, table called Patients that I would like to make into a form. Okay, here's the next step. I want to create a form for this. I'll select table, uh, patients, and create and form. And because of all of the lookup uh, references that I did in these other tables, I already have a relationship. So it's showing the procedures. Uh, one of the things in 2007 that I haven't quite uh, figured out how to do um, any easier than this um, is to correct these subforms that are automatically put in. If you put them in manually, which is what I'm fixing to show you to, how to do, um, then everything works pretty good. Uh, but when it does it, it will sometimes use the wrong column reference here. Uh, I would like to see the socials here. Um, so I redid these tags on some of these tables um, and then ran the video again. But basically, I want to switch to design view. And I want to select this area. It is the subform that it created for you. I want to right click on it and choose build. And that takes me to um, sort of a wizard. Um, I do want to use an existing table. And um, it really already has the one that I want. I'm going to put all of the fields over there. And then next. Um, and I want to choose define my own. And then for the form social and subform social uh, should match the two. And then next. And I want to change this um, to patient procedure subform um, and then finish. And uh, then look at it. You have to click off of that area. Look at it in form view. And there you go. There's your social showing up there. Now you can always go back into the build and take out this ID column if you did not want it. Uh, this ID column is just an automatic ID uh, that you will see inside of, um, I'll get it out in a minute, inside of the uh, procedures, the patient procedures, which I have a little typo there, but you get it. Now this has to be saved, uh, but before I do, I want to change these labels. Uh, so I'm going to go back into design view get that in a minute and change that to just patient or patients and then um, here we go again 
and I need to save it because right now it's not been saved yet and this one is just form and patience FRM and then okay so really what I have is two forms one called patience and one called patient procedures uh, subform and I named that one wrong um, even um, if you name it something wrong you can change it you do want to close the original first and I'm going to right click choose uh, rename and in the front of this is where I like to put um, the uh, S F R M for subform and then I can delete this extra text out of the end here and then press enter and it's still going to be connected I just renamed it so when I open it back up see it's still there everything's fine um, the area here um, is for just this list as far as navigating so if a person has so many uh, procedures going on you can navigate through this list this list is for the different uh, patients so Smith here and go back one and Emmer. I want to show you how to manually put a subform in so that means I'm going to um, keep the original uh, form uh, but go into uh, design view and delete the subform so I just select it and press delete on the keyboard so I'm going to go back out into form view I'm going to go over here and delete my subform and it's gone okay so now subform uh, is already open or not subform I'll get that out in a minute form patients and I'm going to manually add that subform so I'll go to the design view again it down here is where I'm going to put it and uh, there is the button right here for a subform you click on that it takes you through that same wizard that the build took you through after you click and define the area that you want it to be in and I'm going to make it as wide as what's on the screen and use existing table and queries next um, patient procedures all the fields again you don't have to use the ID field for patient procedures because that doesn't mean anything so I'm going to take that one back out and next and define my own social for forms social for subform and then next um, let me name this correctly this time SFRM for the naming convention in front of it take out the extra text at the end and finish and then look at the view but remember you have to deselect this and form view and there it is there's your socials uh, every procedure for this patient should match this social if I go to Smith he has social number two and social number two so you know he's matching up there um, recap once you have created your tables and let me open this one up and gone in and defined um, you know that this has a lookup and this has a lookup and and done it in the appropriate places uh, under database tools you can go to relationships and see that those have been created for you now I did go back in uh, earlier and double clicked on the line because it did not have um, the affinity sign and the one which means a one-to-many relationship um, but it already had a one-to-many relationship it just did not have this checked enforce referential integrity that's really important to keep your records straight and I'll do another video about that but when you see a line that does not have the one to many symbol simply double click it and then put the check in and then click OK same thing with the other line I did that here as well um, I hope this tutorial helped and feel free to comment thank you